what, what the lady's talking about. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, family? Paula Patton, Robin Thicke's ex-wife, has reportedly found love again, this time with another woman's husband. Paula spoke with Essence Magazine and gave a candid interview about her new beau. His name is Zachary Quitman, and they are madly in love. Now, why would I give a damn about Paula Patton and her love life? I don't. What I do give a damn about is the circumstances in which they met and giving you guys some information on it so that maybe you can be aware of things like this in your personal life. See, it appears that she met Ozak while their kids were playing after school sports together. The problem here is that also present during these sporting activities was Zachary's wife. So that's where I'm going. Now, Zach has not officially separated from his wife. They're not divorced. They're not living together. He decided after one month of being with old girl, Paula, that he would move in. And they're madly in love. So the lesson here, you got to watch the company you keep. Because oftentimes, the enemy is a lot closer than you think. Oftentimes, your enemy looks like your friend. The woman actually said that Paula seemed like a nice woman. And she is devastated because she was blindsided. She didn't see it coming at all. Being in the entertainment industry, I know a lot of people who date former spouses of people who walk through their houses, came to the parties, sat on the couch, walked around the house with the husband or the wife, showed them around been out on trips together, shopping together, hanging out. The next thing you know, the person who you invited into your house is dating the person that you were in love with or you may still be in love with. You may still be in the relationship with that person. And it's a person that you invited into your personal space. That's who got you. Some of y'all watching this right now, it's going to resonate with you big time because it's probably happened to you. Hell, it happened to me before. I mean, this is when I was a youngster, you know, ripping and running, doing my thing. And I thought I had her on lock. And it happened to be one of my homies. All of a sudden, he stopped showing up, stopped coming around. About the same time she stopped coming around. Then he finally came to my house full of them beers one day and he confessed to me, told me everything. Now here's the thing I had told him at that time. Watch your back. Because if she do it to me, she'll do it to you. So sure enough, she stepped out on him too. So Paula to me seems like a nervous wreck. And I do believe karma is going to get her. I don't believe she's going to come through this unscathed. Um, she said that they're madly in love. I, I just never been madly in love with anybody after one month. I've never done it. I, it's just, for some reason, I don't know if I'm, I guess I'm incapable of doing something like that. I just never, maybe I've been madly in lust, but not madly in love, not me. So I don't see anything good coming from that union. But like I say, hey man, if they like it, I love it. They can do whatever they want to do. I don't really care about that. I'm talking to y'all. 
I'm just asking y'all to be careful. I'm giving this information to you so that you can take inventory of your own life and think about who's in your space and be careful about who you allow into your personal space. Be careful about who you allow into your home. I was very cognizant early on about the entertainment industry and how people jump around and date their friend's ex-wife or girlfriend and all that stuff, man. You, know, you got to be real careful. That's all I'm saying. Protect your personal space. What do you say? Keep your friends close and your enemies closer? Just keep your friends closer. Because almost every enemy that I have was once my friend. At least the ones I know of. For Paula, it seems pretty hypocritical for her to be uh, jaded by the fact that her friend where her ex-husband stepped out on her. She said that he stepped out on her. So she felt like the victim and a lot of people came to her aid. They came to her defense and was like, ah, oh, Robin, he's nothing, he's no good. And then she turned around and do the exact same thing that she claimed he did. So she takes one step forward and two steps backwards. Hmm. I think there are some blurred lines here. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.